there, there are not that many differences in terms of security, but the problem that we have right now is that, for example, uh, the IPv6 implementations are not as mature as their IPv4 counterparts. So and there are other issues, for example, such as um, we don't have that much support for IPv6 in security devices. The personnel that usually had to deploy IPv6 doesn't have much experience or as much experience as they have with IPv4. So all those things all together uh, usually lead to um, decreased uh, security in IPv6 as well compared to IPv4. Yeah, I actually think that well, all the security aspects should have been evaluated and well understood before actually deploying IPv6. The problem was that uh, companies and organizations in general should have started uh, uh, learning about IPv6 and trying IPv6 a long time ago, but they didn't. So we now got to the situation in which we are running out, finally running out of IPv4 addresses. We need to do something about it. So we are in a situation in which we sort of need to deploy IPv6 even without having the experience that we would like to have. So that's the situation in which we are right now. Well, among the security issues are, for example, uh, many of them have to do with uh, immature implementations. So for example, some implementations, they don't uh, perform even obvious sanity checks that they should perform on packets. Um, some of them, for example, they don't enforce limits on data structures. So for example, it's trivial to actually get an IPv6 implementation or some IPv6 implementations to exhaust all kernel memory just by sending uh, lots of packets. So that's the sort of issue that, that you can find in many implementations. Everybody, I would say. I mean, starting from the vendors uh, that well, should probably improve the, the, the security of their products or the, the, the maturity of their products, but even the security community needs to sort of catch up on IPv6. There has not been much work done in the area of, of IPv6 security. And uh, it's like an ecosystem, right? So if there is a security research work in the area of IPv6 security, the maturity of the product is also going to improve. But since since there has not been much work in that area, uh, the maturity of the products have, has not improved. So you have all these organizations needing to deploy IPv6, but they don't have well-trained personnel. And I'm not talking just about security, I'm talking about IPv6 in general. Well, there are some issues to be addressed, but in general, I would say that most of the things that I have found myself have to do with immature implementations. But so far, when you check the existing IPv6 implementations, uh, you could say that that's probably the state of IPv4 implementations like 10 or 15 years ago. I even say dangerous, and also when, when you talk about the technology, it's, it's usually you use it because there's a need for that, right? Now, the problem that we have right now is that we need to use IPv6. Unfortunately, uh, we should have done a lot of things that we didn't, so we found ourselves in, in a situation in which we must use IPv6, but uh, we are not in the position in which we would like to be. So we should have done better, but we didn't.